Okay, class, here is another example um, of how to use GeoGebra on an example we've already done. So the solutions we'll look at in a second that we've come up with, but here's an example of uh, engineers trying to uh, determine the breaking weight of a cable. In this example, uh, we have a random sample of 45 cables with a mean breaking weight of 768.2 pounds and a standard deviation of 15.1 pounds. From that sample, we computed a 95% confidence interval for the mean breaking weight of all such cables. So that's what we want to do here. I want to show you that we uh, can do it a lot easier and a lot more uh, quicker um, with GeoGebra. All right, so I've provided the link for the GeoGebra probability calculator, but this is what should come up on um, in, in that when you bring that link up. So the first thing you do is you click on the tab statistics for confidence intervals. In general, we want the statistics because we are working statistics on it. We're not talking about the distribution, but here we are talking about statistics. So let's do a estimate. I want to estimate a mean. So I got two choices here. Which one do I do? Um, so think about what we've been just talking about. We've been talking about T's. T mean estimate. T's are always means. So we have T's as means. We will actually, in this class, we will never use the Z mean estimate, though we could have at the beginning of module 20. But here we're just using the T mean estimates, and then we're going to use this one a little bit later as well, as well as the T test and the T mean test. So these are the things we'll be using. Not, not anything to do with Z and means. So everything to do with T's. All right. So with that in mind, so I want the T mean estimate of a confidence interval that is 50, 95% uh, that is in there. But just to show you again, you can enter 95% and it will convert it for you. So then we need the mean. Well, the mean was uh, 768.2 and the standard deviation, sample standard deviation was 15.1. Remember, we can use GeoGebra to calculate those things if we have some data, All right? And the sample size, we had 45 cables, so 45. So, and it really, it is done at this point. I could hit enter, but it is done. Um, GeoGebra gave us these answers, and if we, um, there's, so here's our lower limit down here. So this is the lowest of the bounds, right? And this is the upper limit. So, right, our, we are 95% confident that our population proportion will be contained between these two numbers, right? So that's how confident we are, right? That's how we can make that statement, and we can use the words over here of the cable strength to help us, as well as this gives us, right, here is the mean again. So this 768.2 is the mean, and then what is this? This is the margin of error. So 4.5365 is the margin of error that we add and subtract to get the lower limit and the upper limit. All right, but that is it. Oh, I forgot to say that, um, let's just take a look at the actual answers that we came up with before to show you that we have the same stuff. There's the standard error that we found. There's the test statistic, that's the T. Um, we don't give us the T here, um, not a big deal. We can find it other ways. And then um, the standard deviation, which, I'm sorry, this is the margin of error, which is 4.53 is according to them. And according to us, we got a little bit better um, results, actually. 4.54 is what we have. So, and then lastly, right, our lower bound and our upper bound are pretty much the same, right? Yes, they are. All right, a little bit different, but it is actually this, what we are doing is better than what we're doing over here. Less rounding issues. All right, thanks, good luck.